Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Road Chose Me. Today we are exploring Karangini National Park. So this is the most famous, the best maybe, national park in Western Australia. We're still in the Pilbara region, so when I show you on the map of Australia, we are still somewhere in air vent land <laughs> before we get over to the coast, which I'm really looking forward to. And as you can see, some of our more recent adventures Katie actually is responsible for this one. She did a great job. I kind of like it. It looks like an abstract painting. But here we go, Karangini National Park. We've got canyons, waterfalls, rock formations. The red ground is bright red because it's all iron ore. This is one of the world's biggest iron ore producing regions. So insane rock formations, all of that. Let's go, Karangini National Park. So this is really crazy. We're just getting started here about to hike down into the first canyon. And there's a warning sign here about blue asbestos. And so just near here, there was a town, it was a huge mine for blue asbestos, which I guess is a much more dangerous type of asbestos. I didn't realize it's like a hundred times or a thousand times more likely to cause cancer if you inhale it into your lungs. And it is known to exist naturally here. That's why they were mining it so much. I think this canyon and around like probably doesn't have that much of it and people don't care that much. But elsewhere in the park, there's another canyon. When friends visited, they actually wore uh, big respirator masks because they were so worried about it. So it's a thing, I guess, it's something to think about. Probably don't want to eat too much dirt or try to kick up too much dust. But here we are, while I've been yammering, here's our lookout. <laughs> i tell you what. What is this one called? Dale's Gorge. Circular pool. Circular pool in Dale's Gorge. <laughs> and I think we're going to go down there and probably go for a swim and probably walk all the way through that gorge. So, right off the bat, this looks pretty nice. Just keep an eye out for some blue asbestos and try to avoid it. How good are these canyons? All right, everyone, it's time to teach you about more Aussie food. This one being the most classic of all, it's time to learn about Vegemite. So Vegemite is an Australian classic, and I guess you could say it's a little bit like British Marmite. Uh, there's a few different sort of variations, but Vegemite is purely Australian. No other country really has it or likes it. And it is one of those iconic flavors where if you grew up with it, you love it. If you didn't grow up with it, you kind of hate it. So what is Vegemite? Vegemite is a yeast extract. It's left over from the brewing process. Some people decided, hey, why don't we make money out of this stuff that we're otherwise throwing away? And so it's, it's a yeast extract. It's the world's richest source of vitamin B. And you can kind of see by looking in the jar, it is basically like a black spread. It's very black, it's very dark. And we use it in Australia, maybe similar to how you might use peanut butter 
in that you spread it on toast, it's really delicious. On bread, it's good. Crackers, it's really good. It's good with cheese. Um, things like that, it's really good. Um, and Vegemite's one of those acquired tastes, like I said. So kind of the main trick to eating it is to spread it pretty thin. So here you can see I've spread it on this sort of whole wheat cracker and it's very, very salty. Uh, is kind of, I would describe it as its main flavor. But I mean, of course I love this stuff. So you're not really gonna learn anything from me eating it. What really is good fun is when a foreigner eats it. I guess Australians are famous for feeding this to foreigners and then watching their reactions. So conveniently, we have a foreigner right over here. So let's see what happens. Hello, foreigner. Oh, hi, hi, Dan. Oh, hi, YouTube. Hello. We've got this cracker full of Vegemite. Katie, I'm gonna ask you to take a nibble. Spoiler <laughs> alert, Katie's had Vegemite before, so we kind of know what's gonna happen, but we need to show you guys. So, um, first of all, I should just say that Dan's gonna pay me about $10,000 to eat this Vegemite, and it's quite odorous. Uh, when Dan opened up the jar around the corner, I instantly was hit by waves of sensual deliciousness vegemite scent mm, okay okay stop stalling katie <laughs> okay. do you, did you guys get a close-up they got a close-up this is about three times the amount of vegemite that i would suggest you, you, just, on you can just eat one of these corners that doesn't have much on it oh. so katie just mm. had the, the tiniest amount you can imagine yum delicious describe it oh. uh, it's quite gelatinous. It's coated my teeth now, and it will probably continue to taste like Vegemite for days. Fortunately, my partner really likes Vegemite, which is great. Um, Describe it. What does it taste like? It tastes like licking the bottom of like a you brew kit. I don't know. Have, nutritional yeast? Like it tastes like liquid nutritional yeast. That doesn't sound very delicious, but I promise you, <laughs> Vegemite is delicious. If you ever get a chance, I have seen it, seen it in the US before, uh, like in exotic food stores. You will be able to find Vegemite if you want to. And obviously, if you ever come to Australia, make sure you get a jar. This stuff is gold. Getting deep now. I'm swimming. <laughs> These gorges are incredible. I feel like I'm in the Goonies, an old classic movie. That was one of my favorite movies as a kid. The flowing water, the rock. This is awesome. <laughs> Here we go everyone, this is something really exciting. We're actually just on the highway, we're leaving the Pilbara region, we're kind of done. And on the side of the road here, we have just found for the first time yet, wild Sturt Desert Pea. And so this is a plant, a flower, uh, very, very famous in Australia. This is the Northern Territory State Flower. And you can see it's this really iconic bright red. And it is actually a pea, I didn't even know that myself. Of course, it's called the Sturt Desert Pea. 
And here on the side of the road, there's these huge big clumps of it all over the place. And I really was hoping that we would see one of these. For me, I mean, this is exciting maybe as someone seeing an elephant or, you know, a kangaroo or something. I remember when I was in primary school and I was a little kid, one of the kids in my school, his family took a trip up to Uluru or the center of Australia, and they came back and they had a Sturt Desert pea. And I don't know why, it's stuck in my memory. It's one of those things of like, wow, you went somewhere exotic, you saw something really cool. And I really hoped on this Australia trip that we would see Sturt Desert P. And there it is. Here's a couple more real classic ones. I'll try and get out of the light. Yeah, you can see that really, it's like a long thin shape and then it has that black blob in the middle of the flower. And these leaves, I've actually been seeing the plants a little bit around the place, but it's the first time we've fully seen them flowering. And so we've got this big clump here, Katie's down at another clump, and we saw some earlier on the side of the road as well. There we go, Sturt Desert Pea. That's great. Now we can tick that off the list of things we needed to see in Australia. He actually likes this. We'll just eat Vegemite on bread for days. So when I lived in the Yukon, I hadn't been to Australia in nearly 10 years. So I hadn't had Vegemite in about 10 years. Mum and Dad came to visit and they brought a jar with them. Whenever Australians travel, they always bring Vegemite. It's kind of a rule. And it was so weird because I hadn't seen it in so long and it was black and, and Katie was right, it's quite odorous. And so it was kind of sitting on the bench in the kitchen and I was like, I don't know about this Vegemite stuff. This is pretty weird. And so for breakfast, I just put like the tiniest bit on a piece of toast, you know, and kind of nibbled on it. And then two days later, the jar was empty. <laughs> I ate the whole jar in two days. That is how much I love it. So yes, thank you, Katie. I love Vegemite. You can eat like crackers and crackers and good stuff. <laughs>